Express yourself. New. I grew up in the States. I, I lived here for a few years. My father is American and he owned a factory of maquiladora here. And where's the maquiladora? It's gone. And your father? Gone too. I can help you find your friend. But you have to do something for me first. That's Gina Rodriguez as a woman threatened by a crime lord into helping him pull off some jobs in exchange for her missing friend. And that scene from Espala, the Hollywood remake of the 2011 Spanish film, which tried and failed to get an Oscar nomination. I'm Chris Zweig. Let's take a look. As the movie opens, Rodriguez arrives from L.A. to Mexico to prepare her friend for the Miss Bala beauty pageant. But after a shootout at a nightclub, she gets captured by the same gunman who agree to help her find her friend if she does their bidding. And unlike the original version, she gets captured by the DEA who agree to free her if she infiltrates the criminal's organization. You better do what you need to do. Tell me, you know, he has a mole in his operation. Tell me lies. I'm gonna hurt you. I'm not giving up on my family. I suppose Gina Rodriguez gives a fine performance as the main character when she goes from being scared to being angry at the abuse and threat she takes, but this remake runs out of ammo. It's basically all the same Hollywood thriller cliches, while the original Spanish version was all about the point of view of an innocent person. That movie was patient and interesting, but this was just exhausting. Well, that's my negative review on Miss Bala. If you like this review and other reviews coming up, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And my written reviews are at www.cjthemovies.com. I'm Chris Zweig, and I'll see you at the movies.